What's in a name? Plenty say the people on both sides of the debate over the use of the term radical Islam as it relates to the war on terror. Cronkite News reporter Keisha Butts in our Washington bureau was at a Senate hearing where a Valley resident weighed in on using the term radical Islam. There is no bill before the Senate Judiciary Subcommittee, just a question. Does the term radical Islam describe terrorists or unfairly smear the vast majority of Muslims? We cannot combat and defeat radical Islamic terrorism without acknowledging it exists and directing our resources to stopping it. M. Zudi Jasser, president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy in Phoenix, says the first step toward that acknowledgement is simply using the term radical Islam. Unless we call it that, we're not going to be able to, to engage the precursors of that violence. Jasser testified at a Senate hearing yesterday where he spoke about the Obama administration's refusal to use the term. Not only should the term be used, he said, but it should not be removed from official documents such as the 911 calls and the Orlando shootings. The acting that sends them a message that we're afraid of them. But critics say that using the term doesn't stand up to terrorists. Instead, it plays into their hands. The reason why we're concerned about using terms like radical Islam or radical Islamic terrorism is that we think it actually undermines our safety. For Hana Kara, executive director of Muslim Advocates, testified too, and she thinks labels like radical Islamist weaken our security here in America. She also thinks ISIS and other Islamic terrorist groups want us to use these terms, so it looks like the West is at war with Muslims. By using religiously charged terms like jihad, like saying this is Islamic terrorism, this is an Islamic cause. Um, it's actually feeding into their narrative, into their propaganda. The line to get into the hearing snaked down the hallway, but no decisions were made. So the debate will continue. Live in Washington, I'm Keisha Butts, Cronkite.